Honey, when we met, I was smitten. It could have been your smile, or it could have been the heat I felt the first time I held your hand walking down the Huntington Pier, or the fact that on January 11th, 2017, on a dimly lit street walking you to your car, I had my last first kiss. I would say that I didn't know it then, but I did. You were it. Parker, you loved me first, but I've loved you longer. By being your charming self, you opened my eyes and my heart to what true love really feels like. I felt butterflies like never before, so much that I knew I never wanted to let go. I was a girl that was not looking for love or knowing what exactly that love would feel like, and you made me realize that it was better than I could have ever imagined. Everyone here knows you're a lucky man to call on your wife, because she's literally one of a kind person. You two were made for each other. Your goals are aligned, you're both willing to give and take. I wish nothing but the best for you two, and I, I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish. Parker, you make Ani feel like a princess. You make her feel special each and every day. You protect her, you make her happy, and you love her beyond belief. So as her best friend, that's all I can ask for. Fast forward five years, I stand before you eagerly excited to be your husband until death do us part. I promise to love you with all of my heart in this life and in what comes next. I promise to stand by your side and proudly be your biggest fan. I promise to always be sweet to you. I promise to be a husband that you can be proud of. And I promise to grow with you. Parker, you are the love of my life and my best friend. You make me happier than I could have ever imagined. I vow to always love you fiercely every day for the rest of our lives. I promise to tell you I love you every night. I vow to always put you first and support your goals. I promise to be a safe space for your thoughts and vulnerabilities. I promise to remain loyal and keep you laughing. No, I will always have your back and stand by your side forever and ever. One lifetime with you could never be enough. Love is a feeling, and right now I am feeling a lot of feelings. But love is also a choice, and I choose you every day. I do. When Ani was calling me to talk about Parker, I said, he's nice. What is the hesitation? She said, he's too nice. There's got to be something wrong. So thank you for persisting. I learned how to fall in love with your children. I heard people say that. I didn't know what that meant. But I fell in love with both my kids. They're really wonderful. You're the best, Ani. You got a heart like your mom. You're kind. You're considerate. You see how many friends showed up to celebrate this day for you, and, and you're going to be a wonderful mom. And I'm just really proud of you, and I'm glad that we had the relationship that we had, and uh, let's keep it going, all right? I love you. I can truly say the union of these families is something that's amazing. Tracy, John, you've done an amazing job with Ani. Listen, we love you. We thank you. We bless you. 
and wish you the most wonderful happily ever afters.